If it is the case that every isoquant is a straight line, then we say that the factors of production are perfect substitutes. Production factors in computer games are quite often perfect substitutes. For example, in the game Factorio, you can produce solid fuel. You can produce one unit of solid fuel using either 10 units of light oil or 20 units of heavy oil. Light oil and heavy oil are therefore two production factors that are perfect substitutes. Light oil and heavy oil are perfectly replaceable with each other in a 1 to 2 ratio. If X1 is the amount of light oil used in the production process and X2 is the amount of heavy oil, then the production function is given by Y is equal to X1 over 10 plus X2 over 20. If a production function is linear in both arguments, then the factors must be perfect substitutes. Solving for x2, I get x2 equal to 20y minus 2x1, and this is the equation of an isoquant. This is a linear function, so all isoquants are straight lines. We say that our two factors of production are perfect complements if every isoquant is L-shaped and all the corners lie on a straight line through the origin. Let's use an example from Factorio here as well. You can produce one red wire from one copper cable and one electronic circuit. Copper cables and electronic circuits are perfect complements in the production of red wires. For example, if you have nine copper cables and five electronic circuits, then you can produce five red wires and you're left with four copper cables. The production function in this example is y is equal to the minimum of x1 and x2. In this example, the straight line connecting the corners of the isoquants has a slope of 1, but that is not a requirement for factors to be perfect complements. If the production factors are perfect complements, then the firm cannot make any sort of substitutions between the factors. They must always use the production factors in a fixed ratio. The most common production function in microeconomics is the Cobb-Douglas production function. If we have a production function given by y is equal to capital A times x1 raised to A times x2 raised to B, where capital A, A and B are all strictly positive constants, then this is a Cobb-Douglas production function. For example, y equal to 100 times the square root of x1 times x2 is a Cobb-Douglas production function with capital A equal to 100, A equal to 1 half, and B equal to 1 half. With, say, 9 units of the first factor and 16 units of the second, the firm would produce 100 times 3 times 4 or 1200 units of the output good. With a Cobb-Douglas production function, the production factors will be in between perfect substitutes and perfect complements. The isoquants will be in between straight lines and L-shaped curves.